بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 17th juz of the Qur'an or the 17th para uh, covers two surahs They are Surah Al-Anbiya and Surah Al-Hajj As for Surah Al-Anbiya uh, it basically deals with the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, affirming Allah's Tawheed, and also affirming uh, the truth of Allah's message, that Allah has sent a message uh, through His Prophets, and also uh, talking about the resurrection, uh, life after death. And so, uh, Surah Al-Anbiya basically uh, begins by warning uh, us about the resurrection, and affirming that it will really uh, happen uh, and uh, that it, it has come close, it is very near uh, while most people are heedless of that uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about uh, you know, uh, proving the tawheed of Allah proving his oneness uh, through using logical arguments as well as uh, uh, signs in his creation. So using the, the, the created world and uh, these huge creations uh, in this world, the, the heavens and the earth and so on and so forth, to prove that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one and that he alone deserves to be worshipped. After that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions uh, the stories of the prophets. Uh, with regards to some of them, Allah mentions the stories, others he only mentions uh, the names of the prophets, uh, or he mentions, uh, you know, just uh, 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 very briefly about these prophets. Uh, and that is why this surah is named after the prophets, Al-Anbiya, the prophets. Uh, and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam and how uh, he smashed the idols that his people used to worship. And this is a lesson in, uh, you know, putting one's uh, trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to fear the people, but to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you and that he will protect you. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions other prophets. Allah mentions uh, uh, Ayyub and uh, the illness that he had fallen into. Allah mentions Yunus alayhi salam and some of the other prophets. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concludes this surah uh, by making a call to Tawheed. Uh, after that, moving on to the next surah, and that is Surah Al-Hajj. Uh, surah Al-Hajj uh, begins by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, basically placing fear in our hearts uh, for the Day of Judgment. And so Allah mentions certain things about the Day of Judgment that really, really should uh, put fear in our hearts about that day. Uh, and then uh, Allah mentions uh, also uh, the, the resurrection and uh, proving that uh, you know people will rise from their graves. Uh, and Allah gives an example of this, uh, and that is uh, basically uh, how um, uh, you know a dead land, when rain falls on it, uh, it comes out. You know, the, 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 the vegetation and the greenery comes out. So that is also how, uh, that is also how uh, we will come out from our graves. Uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions a little bit about the Hajj. And that is why this surah is named uh, Surah Al-Hajj. Uh, Allah mentions how Hajj was made obligatory uh, upon Ibrahim alayhi salam. Uh, and then Allah mentions a little bit about the rulings of Hajj. However, you'll notice here that uh, Allah mentions uh, the rulings, or rather Allah mentions uh, the significance of, uh, of Al-Hajj uh, in terms of uh, our hearts uh, and uh, you know, uh, how our hearts uh, should be uh, when we go for Hajj. And uh, as for uh, previously, in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, some of the rulings of Hajj were mentioned. However, those were the physical 
uh, aspects, the outward aspects of Hajj. Whereas here in Surah uh, Al Hajj, uh, Allah focuses on our hearts. And so Allah mentions that you know these animals that you slaughter uh, during the Hajj, Allah, you know, He doesn't uh, benefit from these uh, animals or from the blood uh, that was uh, sla- uh, the, the, of the animals that were slaughtered. But rather, it is our taqwa that Allah wants. It is our taqwa that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wants. Uh, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned uh, the obligation of jihad. And so the obligation of jihad, or the permission to uh, fight back uh, in jihad, uh, was uh, made here in Surah Al-Hajj. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions it here: "Udina lil-ladina, uh, udina lil-ladina yuqataluna bi annahum, udina lil-ladina yuqataluna bi annahum zulimu." Uh, and then after that, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, closes off the chapter, uh, Surah Al-Hajj, uh, by making a call to jihad, by making a call to jihad, and reminding us to hold fast to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And with that, uh, we come to the end of Surah Al-Hajj and the end of uh, this uh, juz, the, the 17th uh, juz of the Qur'an. Uh, with that, we come to the end of this session. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.